Welcome back. You know, after a full day at school, the last thing your child wants to do when they come home from school is more schoolwork. We've all been there, but homework is a necessary part of getting an education. An organization that's been helping students better understand their classwork for over 25 years is Homework Hotline. The executive director, director Rebecca Vance, along with Madeline Adams, who's the assistant director, are my guests. Welcome. Thank you for Thank having you us. Us. It's so good that Homework Hotline <laughs> is out there, and I know parents probably tell you that all the time. Um, how long has Homework Hotline been around? So we've been open in Nashville since 1990 so 28 wow. years yeah we're going into our 28th school year that is mm -hmm. amazing mm -hmm. and your mission is talk about that yeah so we want to be able to help any K through 12 student in the state of Tennessee complete their homework okay. get back to school where they're <laughs> able to really be more confident about the work that they've done and participate more effectively in the class so talk about to me Madeline who are some of the folks who answer the phones when we call absolutely we are very excited that we hire certified teachers so all of our staff that we hire and they are paid um, okay. so it's a little extra bonus for the teachers yeah. at the end of their school day um, they're all certified teachers most of them work with um, MNPS so Metro Nashville Public Schools but we do have other teachers outside of the system for example we have a wonderful gentleman who is retired but is an incredible calculus upper math level teacher. Oh, yeah. We definitely need those. And yes. so um, we also have a couple other teachers who, a bunch of our teachers are multilingual. So we're really excited and proud of the fact that we have Spanish speakers every night, Arabic at least two or three times a week, um, Hindi two or three times mm -hmm. a week. Uh, we have had Swahili. We have had in the past Kurdish and Somali. <laughs> and really depending on the teachers that we hire as well as, which is a bonus, but they're also really incredible educators. Yes. And what's really great is that at the end of the day, and we would think, oh my gosh, but you're doing more teaching <laughs> yeah. and more education, but they say this is the best because kids really want to learn. So we're yeah. excited. And of course, Rebecca and I um, jump both jump in and <laughs> field calls and help the second, third, fourth grade math and yeah. English, yeah. English students as needed. Yes. So. <laughs> is there like a busiest time of the day? Because what, what are your hours, oh, gosh. first of all? So we are open 4 to 8 p.m. Okay. Central Standard Time. So for Eastern Tennessee, obviously that's right. 5 to 9. Right. Um, but the busiest time when we first open, so usually we've got calls for the teachers to make back to students oh, wow. before we even open at 4. Mm -hmm. So that 4 to 5 period is pretty busy. And then right at about 7.15, 7.30, people realize that they're not going to have a whole lot more time to get, to get help. And so we get another kind of busy wave. But it stays pretty consistent mm -hmm. throughout the night. Yeah. Yeah. What seems to be the subject that you get the most number of calls on? Oh, math. Of course. Absolutely math. Um, last year, I believe it was 80%. 80%, 80 percent of the oh over 9,000 calls we received. Calls and online chats. And what's great is that we are with the times um, in the digital age, which is wonderful, we have an online whiteboard, which has made it much easier, and to, work, so much easier. to work lifetime with the students. That so, is wonderful. Is that a new feature this year, Matt? Uh, as of last year. As of last year. Yes, we added, added it last, last year. year. Um, but I think more and more people are finding out about it. So students who called us last year <laughs> and used it have asked to use it again this year. And then the students that have called and already used it this year, a lot of times that's a requested feature yes. that they'll call back mm -hmm. and be like, can we go into the whiteboard? Because so many kids are visual learners. Oh, yes. And I'm very I visual. Am too. And so trying to explain a concept just over the phone mm -hmm. can be a little bit limiting. So with that whiteboard, it's made a huge difference because that's ac yeah. it's accessible not only over the computer, but also if you have a phone. So they don't even have mm -hmm. to have a big computer at home if they have access to a phone that can do um, data, then that they have access wonderful. to it. And I'm going to jump in, not even computer at home. There was a student that contacted mm -hmm. us last week from a library yep. oh. that um, he was able to, they, we don't know, it's yeah. all anonymous, which is great, but they were able to access us through a library mm -hmm. and using the computer services that the library yeah. offered. So that is wonderful because yeah. I know the libraries do offer free mm -hmm. library services. Right. So if you don't have one at home, you can always use the library. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then some wonderful. of the schools will even open up their own school libraries after school and let the students go wow. in mm -hmm. and work with us on those computers as well. So oh, there's a lot wonderful. of people that are willing to work with students if they need access to those extra pieces. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. Thank goodness for technology. Mm -hmm. Are there Absolutely. any other new things that you've implemented uh, this year? 
Um, so all of these are kind of end of last year, beginning of this year. So we are able to have students actually share pictures of their homework. Um, it used to be a more complicated process, but now <laughs> they can actually just text us a picture of the homework. Uh -huh. um, so that if it's a worksheet, we've got a lot of the books in-house, but if it's a worksheet, they're able to send it, we're able to look at it with them, read over the directions, and make sure that we're really pointing them in the, the right direction. And then the other piece that we've added is because of Google Docs, if high school students especially, so 7th mm -hmm. through 12 are usually okay. the ones that are typing essays at this point, uh -huh. and so they are able, if they've typed an essay and have a Gmail account themselves, they can actually share that essay with us and we can make comments and suggestions on the side. Oh my goodness. So it doesn't have to happen all over the phone conversation, right. but they actually are able to save those for when they go and start the editing process on their own too. That is yeah. amazing. Yeah, and really did great. I read somewhere that you all even helped with some AP advanced courses? Absolutely, and that's where some of our upper level teachers are yeah. incredible. We can pretty much, if it's offered for a high school student, we can definitely help, um, including the AP, including the advanced, um, upper level sciences and mathematics, even into English and history. So abs absolutely, yeah. we are K to 12. And if you are a student that is in kindergarten yes. through 12th grade, <laughs> we are definitely here for you. And pretty much mm -hmm. every subject, too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we make sure that in the hiring process, we look for the teachers that we're going to need to fill those, those places. So we've got elementary, middle, and high school, but not only do we ask what grade level yeah. they're comfortable with, but we also ask for subject levels that they're I comfortable see. with so that we can really do full coverage on those subjects. How many teachers do you have and do they work a regular Monday through Thursday because it's Monday through Thursday it is. Yeah. shift is are they the same people every it, day? It depends it depends on the teacher um, we have a few that can only it depends on what their timing is as well you know okay. life life is busy oh, yes. <laughs> and so there are a um, number of teachers that really only fill one day a week um, so one day four to eight gotcha. there's a good number of them that do two days a week mm -hmm. and there's a small handful that um, have the flexibility and ability to be there three or four days a week which oh, is really wonderful. wonderful but a lot of them are coming from their classrooms so oh. some of them are like I need to make sure that I have at least a couple of days off yes. after school so that mm -hmm. I can do more of the, the yeah. things that come with being a teacher so the grading and the planning yeah. and all of that, that so, makes sense yeah. do you do the tutors and you all I know jump in and do this as well <laughs> do you try to help the student learn you don't do the homework for absolutely them. not I'm gonna jump in on that one yeah. absolutely not um, and that's overhearing the calls with the teachers is really really inspiring my first day um, with the teachers live it was really incredible to hear the one teacher say okay what do you remember from school okay here let me help fill in the gaps okay do you think do you get it do you understand and really about here no I'm not gonna tell you I'm not gonna do the homework for you I can help check your work mm -hmm. I can help go over answers with you and I can help fill in some of the blanks but they really put the onus on the students to do the work themselves which is really incredible mm -hmm. that is what helps empower the students learn and um, gain the confidence that they need to be able to go into the classroom the next day with a completed assignment first yeah. of all but also with better understanding for when the test or the exam comes around mm -hmm. exactly yeah do you find that parents sometimes call you oh <laughs> lots of parents <laughs> call us so we had over a thousand parents call us last year really? so some of those were parents and students on the phone together okay and um, so this the parents like if you can explain it to me I'm gonna let her over here but I want to be able oh, next yeah. tomorrow to be yeah. able to do this and then sometimes the parents are just like I just need a quick explanation <laughs> quick refresh of course and then I should be able to go That's from there um, and then sometimes they just really like being on the phone together and so the child's you know, responding yeah. to most of the questions, but then the parent, you'll hear them all of a sudden be like, oh yeah, <laughs> that makes sense, or that's what you were telling me, because sometimes the kids and the parents have already been discussing the homework, mm -hmm. and the child's been saying, that's not how we did mm -hmm. it in class, which mm -hmm. doesn't mean that's not a way that you can do it, but it's not the way they did it in class, so then when they talk to the teachers, they're like, that's what you were saying, because the, the child may have left out one of those exactly. steps That's in the process, and it wasn't got, making well, sense. Yeah. Yeah. And Tawanda, there was a great moment last week. I love, I love all the testimonials we get from the yeah. teachers yeah. when they finish yeah. a phone call. And um, one of our tutors was working with a middle school child on a reading assignment, reading comprehension, and the parent was on the call. And I don't remember what the full call was about, but at the end, the mom said to our tutor, she said, oh, you know what? You just missed her aha moment. Oh, and it was wow. that wonderful learning experience and moment between the adult and the child, but also like enabled by our tutors to yes. be able to provide that experience for the multi-generations mm -hmm. of wow. the families that are here in Nashville of all different kinds of 
multi generation uh, from all different not backgrounds. Kidding. So, yeah. in your mm -hmm. 28 year history, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. have had so many light bulb moments, and yeah. we could not have done it without you all at the Home Worker Hotline. Thank, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for uh, we me. really appreciate it. I want to thank you Rebecca for having us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I also want to thank my earlier guests for being here Dr. Tammy Grissom from the Tennessee School Boards Association and Todd Zvek from K-12 Solutions Ingram Content Group. Thank you for being here as well. And I want to leave you with this thought. The future of the world is in the classroom today. I'm Tawanda Coleman. I'll see you next time.